Uh, in this lesson, we are going to work on uh, making our messages um, read and unread. But first, let's just, uh, I'm going to change this <clears throat> to unread, and I'm going to uh, create a paragraph here and move uh, delete from here. So I cut this and put it in a paragraph of its own. All right, so um, down here, we're going to have another paragraph and I'm going to do um, an if puts a link to, um, so if our message, uh, if the status is true, then we want um, a link that says on read, okay? On, so we have that there. So a link to, um, sorry, on read messages. So it's a method for that is the update. So that's the put method, which is to update. And else we want to have a link uh, okay, for red, so it's admin message, and we give this a status. So this is very similar to what we've done uh, for the posts. Uh, we have method put and end. All right, so we have it there, we have it there, okay, on red. Read. All right, so now we want to um, go into our controller and when that's sent, it comes over to here. So you could probably do this because we've done it so many times already. So we fetch the message from our view, params. And then we check if the message um, is updated. We want to update just the status, the parameters. And we just redirect. All right, so this is just going to happen when we uh, click on a link. All right, so if I click this and I click on read, and unread. So that's the updated messages. And then unread and same thing. All right. So clicking on this just toggles things. All right. So now we can uh, mark message as read is done. Ability to mark message as unread is also done and we do show our flash messages. Okay. Uh, okay, we need to be able to make the font weight to bold when uh, we haven't read it yet. And when we've read it, then it's no longer bolded. So in here is where we are um, going to wrap around all the P um, tags. So I said if, um, so this is a short, um, short way of writing an if statement on one line. So this is saying message or status equals true, equals false. And if it is false, then we want uh, to set the font weight uh, CSS to be uh, font um, weight. Here yeah, will be bold. Else, we put a colon like that and you say, if it's true, then font weight, or if it's not false, the font weight is normal, so not bold. So it's a very handy way of writing out an if statement in one line. So the first part just checks, is it true? If it's false, then it's bold, bold. and if it is not false, then it's normal. And everything gets saved in the weights variable. So in our paragraph, we can say style, and in it, we could uh, put our, our weights in here. So hashtag curly brackets, open or close, and we can now say um, weight. 
Okay, so depending on the status, if it's false, it's bold. If it is not false, it's normal. So let's have a look and see how this works. Go into the browser and refresh. And there we have this is red, so it's not bold. And this is unread, and it is bold. So it works. And it go, carries on down. So if I click on read, then this becomes unbolded. Click on it again, it becomes bolded. All right, so that works for us. So I'm just going to put a horizontal rule here so we could clearly see where things start and end. So we can see our messages are there. So this is unbolded. You click on it, it becomes bolded, and click on red, and there you go. So it works. All right, so we have done uh, done these two points, uh, making things bold and unbold. All right, so um, in the next lesson, we are going to look into making our search and um, showing messages uh, for a full message when we click on view. All right, so that's it for this lesson, and um, I'll see you in the next lesson.